Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day, Sean Riley. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. I want to thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas, as I broadcast across the nation on the Valder Beebe Show. I'm so excited to talk with you. You're on one of my favorite new uh, networks, Curiosity Stream, and doing new work. I love it. Yum. Uh, Speed, this four-part documentary series, uh, trans we're talking about the, the arc of development of transportation technology, um, starting with early days, looking at where we are right now, how we got here, and then looking into the future. How do, how do you think it segues into uh, today's transportation? Make, make this story work for me. Well, today's transportation is, is the multifaceted, right? We have train technology, we have cars, we have planes, we have boats that are, uh, actually play a huge part in our life, even if you never get on one, because uh, international commerce through containerization has transformed the way we work and the way we trade around the globe. Um, so all those things affect our lives every day. Certainly here in America, the development of... of Trains allowed us to connect East Coast and West Coast, the Transcontinental Railroad, and the, and the proliferation of railroads really built our nation. And then after that, our, our love affair and our adoption with the car and the interstate uh, highway system also further transformed our nation. So we're really, we're products of the technology that we use to move. Speed has shown me something, and I think I'm pretty smart, but anyway, Speed has shown me something about Bring into the conversation County Cornwall in England. Right, so when we're looking at travel over the land, you want to start with the very first car. And we, we're trying to make a romp through history and really focus these big moments, these paradigm shifts when a new piece of technology came out that changed everything. And to go to County Cornwall, we're looking at the very first ever self-powered vehicle, right? This is, up until that day, there had been steam engines and they were huge affairs they're used to pump water out of out of coal mines in county cornwall and so there's a trevithick develops a steam engine that's just small enough that he thinks maybe i could put the whole steam engine onto a wagon and drive the wagon down the street and he tries it everyone says he's crazy he tries it he does it and lo and behold with that one first test drive of a vehicle he does away with thousands of years of reliance on the horse and the whole world cracks open and begins to change and that little moment leads directly to where we are right now. I thought that was so powerful also too in the uh, uh, documentary you said that he could hardly read and write but yet he made this great uh, change in our lives. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that wasn't that uncommon back then but really that was about his a combination of his technical knowledge and his bravery and audacity to try this thing. Um, and the type of engine he's using in order to make it smaller, he's using a much higher pressure steam, which everyone said was insanely dangerous and you're gonna blow yourself up and you shouldn't try it, but he does it anyway. And there's so many moments throughout history where in order to develop that next step in technology, the engineer or the developer has to really go against the grain of conventional wisdom and try something anyway. And there are plenty of people right now, today, that are going against the grain of what we consider conventional wisdom and are developing the technologies of the future. And you're going to see some of that in the documentary as well. I love what you're doing. You know, I'm thinking that this should be for schools because it's history. It's, it's, it's our world. And you're doing such a good job of presenting this. What gives you the ability to be able to do this job? I know it's a job, but what gives you that ability? Thank you. I, I also agree that this, is, that this is an important thing for young people to watch. I'm passionate about getting young people, um, boys and girls, interested in the hard sciences and, and, and interested in pursuing a career in the hard sciences. So it's important to me that this show, of course, be entertaining, but that it, that it be factual and educational, that when we do that romp through history and we're showing these little bits of technology, we talk about not just the physics and, and how that technology was developed, but also the people that did it and why they did it and the context of the great or social context of what that, that piece of technology develops. Personally, I, I uh, 
I'm an engineer, I'm passionate and I'm an expert in explaining technology and science. And uh, I am also, I'm a car aficionado. I have old cars, I study old cars, I build old vintage motorbikes and old cars. So that, that part, the car part, traveling over, over, the, over the land was a particular passion for me. But I learned so much about travel in space, about travel over the water in the course of presenting this. Well, you present it so well. You and Curiosity Stream have done an excellent job. You know, like I said, this should be in each school. School is lacking so much these days, and they're trying to cram so much in the kids, and why not cram something that will, that they can actually use? What do you want us to watch you on Curiosity Stream? Uh, so, sorry, say that again? When do you want us to watch you and speak? Oh, yeah, CuriosityStream.com. The, the show Speed is available starting April 18th on CuriosityStream.com. Uh, and because it's online through the magic of online, all four episodes drop the same day, April 18th. So you can go and watch all four of them and watch them again. This is wonderful. What can we expect next from you? That is a good question. Uh, probably driving my car to work like everyone else, but with one eye on the future waiting for my flying car to come. All right. I thank you so much, John Riley, for gracing the Velda BB Show and inspiring my audiences. I can tell them, tell, see them telling their kids, you got to watch this. This is All really right. Thank you for being my guest on the Velda BB Show. Thank you, Velda. Take care. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.